Hello everyone, John Marshall, the Drill Master. This is disappointing. This is very disappointing. So, I'm retired Air Force. We don't have the traditions that the Marine Corps or even the Army has. We've carried some over from the Army, but I really appreciate the birthday cake ceremony. It's it's very, very special. <clears throat> and I... I just I like that tradition. I like how it's explained in the in the Marine Corps order, and then to see it actually put into uh, put into play here is well in another any other video besides this one. It, it's awesome, and I've witnessed uh, uh, the the ceremony at Marine Barracks Washington. It's it's just a, a really really neat neat ceremony. I I just uh, I like it a lot. This one I don't. This is. This is awful. All right, so thank you, whoever's holding the camera. And this is from 2018, obviously you can see that, Marine Corps Ball 2018. Camera swings back and shows the color guard. Color guard wasn't trained. Well, let me put it this way. The color guard wasn't trained properly. I'm, I'm guessing the senior enlisted of the uh, unit who's supposed to be in charge of taking care of uh, ensuring that the colors are, are handed out and the, 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 the men and women are, are properly trained. Uh, I'm guessing that nobody in the unit practically cracked open the Marine Corps order. So, in, in less than seven seconds, we have American flag on the wrong side. We have the, the spade finial, just haphazard, wherever it wants to be. We have the, uh, the uh, Marine Corps flag, uh, the unit flag on the wrong side. It looks like the, the Marine Corps flag is tucked. I actually watched a little bit of this <clears throat> And then uh, uh, decided I had to, I, I, I've been doing research, and so I stumbled across this. But also, uh, so it looks like the, mar the Marine, uh, the unit flag, the organizational flag, it looks like it's tucked. But it's tucked incorrectly, and we'll get to that uh, a little later on in the video. Uh, but the, the American flag, the national, is not tucked. Um, got a, a fairly good height difference here. You can tell by it looks like uh, maybe an uh, an AC uh, 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 something. I, I am not sure. These the two devices here look to be about the same level or so. So you can see that there's a little bit of a height difference there. So I can understand height difference with uh, the belt levels here uh, for uh, uh, for the harness sockets. <clears throat> Although the harness has holes in in the back and you can adjust the level of the harness that's what it's for it that should be adjusted uh, a, a little bit at least it, make an effort but then again the team wasn't trained so why make an effort to uh, level the colors So in just a second here, there we go. Sword bearers marching out. So that worked going to, uh, uh, going to order wasn't exactly as sharp as it could have been, but honestly, the, this this worked well so far. Um, the the uh, uh, the cordon here is uh, uh, set up to to do their job, and that's good. <clears throat> now I'm not sure if the uh, 
if there's an option. I, I haven't read through because uh, it's it's never been my focus to read through the uh, the ball uh, information in the Marine Corps order. Although I've glanced through it, um, but I'm I'm not sure if the there's an option to uh, to come out with the uh, uh, the sword already cased and then uh, march out and draw and then come to uh, to order, or if you uh, draw outside of the room, as in this case, and then come in. You know, I, if there's an option, fine, whatever. If not, it, it actually lends, uh, and I, please don't get me wrong. I'm going to say entertainment value here. All right. Just because I say entertainment doesn't necessarily mean that this is a Broadway show. All right. Please don't react that way. The, but the entertainment value for the, the spouses, the family members, uh, uh, anybody else who's here, it's really nice to watch Draw Sword. It, it just is. It's part of the, the ceremony. It's part of the history that we have in the, the U.S. military. Uh, we have uh, commands for just about everything. And, and to, to march out and then go through Draw Sword and then come to order, I, I, I think that would be even more special for everybody who's, who's here at the, uh, at the ball. All right, so senior members come out. So that's that's not proper technique. Order, turn. He said sword, okay. And then flick it back, not arms. That's that's uh that's appropriate, but order turn your wrist, pull it back. But also I saw, and it's, it's a little difficult to see on the, an enlarged image here cause it's not, uh, as high quality, but, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, some of the wrists were actually cranked instead of having the, the wrist neutral and the thumb on top of the, uh, the hilt. But so a little bit improper technique there. So colors, instead of sidestepping, I, I understand why you did it. What I don't understand is why you're in this position. Now, the colors are at order, and all of a sudden, magically, the, the guards, are at, you're, you're standing shoulder to shoulder, which is not authorized, but then magically the, the rifles just appear at, uh, at port. How does that work? If you... If you would, please show me in the Marine Corps order. I mean, there's an entire section just dedicated to color guard, amazingly. And in that section of color guard, there's even a subsection that's dedicated purely for the rifles. And it's, it's there because the, the rifles are on the outboard shoulder. So they have to do a couple of different things. They have to pause a couple of times to do, uh, uh, to do the movements to get synchronized. So where does this... Where does that come in? And then got the staff. It looks like the uh, uh, the commander here, uh, the the national color bearer, with that staff out there. It looks like you're going fishing. So when you bring the rifle over, I'll use my lighter one here. When you bring the rifle over, there we go. The right hand, it, when you're left guard, you go to left shoulder, the right hand stays here. It stays at the, the grip, not a flare. It stays here. And then you wait for colors ready cut. Right is going to be here because this is what we always do for coming to right shoulder. It's only the, uh, the ceremonial units that when we come to uh, ceremony guardsmen, when we come to left shoulder, we flare. Everybody else, you're still going to grip. So, can't hear a single command from the color guard. And, you know, for some reason, um, some people think that the, the, the command should only be for 
I'm going to be very quiet now on my color guard because nobody else can hear what I'm doing. And it'll look really great. Well, it, it might kind of look great, but it doesn't let anybody know what's happening. And people around you need to know what's happening because you have the national colors. So when you're calling commands, you call them out as you normally would. You're not a large formation. You're not a, a, a platoon or company or even larger. But you still call out l loud commands. Loud enough for everybody to hear. So look at the staffs, the angle here. And still, you're on the wrong side for crying out loud. Marching shoulder to shoulder, which isn't authorized. Wait a minute. Did you guys just... No. All right. So you can see thumb on the side there. There we go. Now, this counter march is just unbelievably bad. Not only are you in the wrong position, you're you make the the organizational flag the the focus because it stays in in place. The American flag moves around it, so you, you didn't even bother reversing the uh, uh, the counter march procedures. You just did your own. So this, this bears very little resemblance to anything at all published in the Marine Corps order. But you stayed in step. Then we get to watch it again. A little closer. All those tiny little half steps. And this time the org bearer marches backwards. And then the whole team marches backwards. And command is colors halt, so you don't stomp. There's 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 no way to make this. Well, there is. There's lots of ways. You're and you're seeing them. There's ways to make this ceremonialer, and and you're watching ceremonialer as it happens. Well, as it happened in 2018, but you're watching it right now. Get that stomp in there, now flare that hand. It's just. I can't. Uh, where where's this? Explain to me where this is in when going to order. Please, please tell me because I guess I've been teaching it wrong since I actually read the manual. What is this? All right, now watch. So you're stripping the flag with the wrong hand. But now you're tucking it, so in order to strip the, the color, you come out, down, you let the, sl the staff slide all the way to the floor, in this case, the deck. So then right hand comes up, you're going to strip the flag, gather it behind you, and as long as the, get the flag is tucked completely under your right arm, on the right of the staff, and you can grasp the staff at the strong grip, that's the thumb in front of the, the staff, then everything's fine. And then you can uh, uh, cut that left hand away. But what they're doing is they're holding the staff with the right, tucking the, sta tucking the silk of the, the, of the flag on the, the, next to the body on the left of the staff, which isn't the proper technique.
All right, so then. And. Everybody has a, a good time with the cake cutting and uh, so then, well, then that's it with the color guard and the scroll and all that and reading the declaration. I, I, I think that's just really cool stuff. It really is. Except here. Except here with absolutely no adherence to any any kind of standard that is stated in the Marine Corps order. That's Marine Corps order 5060.20. There's a, uh, the latest edition is just, uh, it's, it's practically hot off the press. Here, I'll show you. Here we go. 15 May 2019. You can go to my website, actually, and download it. Just in case you can't find it anywhere else, which I highly doubt, it's right here. See that? Tabbed as well. Boy, how, how, can, how can you record it and then put it on, put it on YouTube? And then not only put it on YouTube, but uh let's see let's go here there there how can you record it put it on youtube and then leave it on youtube john v how uh, people who do people who record this and then they they post it they they must not know exactly what's what's supposed to happen they just appreciate uh let's say john v is uh is uh, uh a Marine who is recording this whole thing. He's, he's sitting down with, uh, maybe his spouse or something. Um, uh, he, he must not have, at least at this time, must not have known what, uh, what was actually supposed to happen. This, this is just, this is, this is the poster video of, of not knowing your standards. Well, as disappointing as it was, I hope that that uh, uh, people can learn from this. That's why I do these critiques, so people can learn. I, yeah, I'm I'm calling out some people in this case. I I am, and maybe somebody somehow is going to see this, who's who was associated with this, and uh, and they might be upset. Uh, sorry but I'm, I'm not sorry. You wear a uniform, you have responsibilities. You pick up a sword, you have responsibilities as to know how to use the sword. You pick up a flagstaff or a rifle. It's a ceremonial situation, so you need to you know the, the techniques that go along with using that piece of equipment. Just so disappointing. Well, I'll leave you on that disappointing note. Thanks for watching.